there, beer tubers. Welcome back to Maxwell Stars Beer Reviews here at Broadleaf Guest Ranch. Got some cabins here. I'm here with the KV Camera Club. They all know I'm a bit of a beer nerd. And I got my uh, friend Jeff here, who's kindly donated this uh, lovely can of McClay's. I've, uh, I've actually, uh, I don't think I've ever had it before, but I know I've bought a can of this before up in Ontario. So it's, uh, but, and I think it made it back, but I don't think I ever got around to drinking it. But uh, it's interesting. This is one I remember from um, uh, El Harlock, Lee's channel, uh, before he retired from BeerTube. Uh, this is like, uh, I think, I can't exactly remember where this is from. There's a Scottish flag on it. But uh, uh, it's a Canadian product, but I remember he's got like a glass or something. He had a nice McClay's glass that featured in like most of his early reviews, which uh, shows how far I go back. I think I started watching beer reviews on YouTube in 2009, and uh, of course I started doing this channel in 2011. Uh, anyway, so let's uh, let's take a look. This thing's nice and cold too, because it's a nice sweltering day here. It's like plus. What 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 do you think the temperature is today? 24, 25 plus humidity. Jeez, it is really humid. Anyway, uh, 24 doesn't sound like much if you're down in the States, but uh, it's a lot to us because we're used to the cold Siberian winters here. So, without further ado, let's uh, crack the top off of this one and uh, give it a pour. This is traditional pale ale from established in Aloha, Scotland. But it's kind of, these days, Thistle Brewery, McClay's. It's kind of a... Um, yeah, Sleeman Brewing, Malting in Dartmouth and Guelph, Ontario. It's so it's part of the Sleeman umbrella, but it's one of those. It's just one of those things. <laughs> Let's give it a pour. That's a shady pour. Um, set the camera down here. It is what it is. Can't really uh, hold the camera with one hand and drink in the in the uh, drink with the other, or pour with the other. At least not in this area. All right. So looking at that, it looks like your standard vlogger. I'm pretty sure it's uh well pale ale I call it, but looks the part. It's really super pale, straw yellow, very light, lots of carbonation, big poofy sticky white head. Hmm, looks alright. Let's give it a sniff. Really? Hey, Carol. Really quite uh, grassy, big cardboardy, sweet. Yeah, I'm mostly getting like grass and cardboard. Yeah, just like I said, I think this was. What was this? You bought this in like a big. Uh, didn't you get this at Salisbury, one of those big, like, 48 packs or something? 24 packs. It's a 20, it was a flat. Yeah. I knew it was a big pack. I know that um, in Salisbury they have some, like, different stuff there, and then big, so you can buy in more bulk stuff to, so that they're trying to curb people from, uh, you know, buying stuff from out of province that's cheaper and bringing it here so they get that budget stuff down there. But uh, they got a, it's a pretty good deal on beer in New Brunswick at least. So... Let's uh, put her down the hatch, see how this tastes. Here's another craft beer fan. What are you drinking? 506 Lager. 506 Lager from Pickaroons. Yeah. Cool. I just picked up some Dooryard there at the liquor store down at the, down at, you know, the one that's in town here? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I got a couple of those in the fridge. Anyway, so we're drinking a McClay's here that, uh, that Jeff gave me. And I'm giving it a taste. And, um, yeah, it's your standard serviceable pale ale. It's a touch cardboardy in the back, a little bit sweet. Maybe a, a light amount of, uh, light amount of, like, a cardboard, well, not a caramel, like a light, uh, oh, like a slight sugary, um, I keep getting stuck on the word cardboard. 
I mean, it is, but it's 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 kind of like this light, light caramel sweet right stuck paint in the back with a tiny grassy taste. I mean, there's not a lot to it. It's a very clean drinking beer. I will give it that. It's super clean. Not as clean as the one I had from Iceland that time, but... But, um... You know, it's all right. It's serviceable. You know what, on a nice sunny day like this, um, especially if you can buy them in bulk and that much for... How much was the 24-pack, anyway? Uh, 32.50. That's not... Wow. wow. <laughs> That's really good. Yeah. For 24. That's insane. You know, for the price, it's you can't really... You can't really go wrong. That's really a good deal. Yeah. Hmm. But, you know, in the grand scheme of things, it's not like it's a super impressive high world-class beer or anything, but it does the trick, and if you're thirsty on a hot sunny day like this, I'll give it a 2.5 out of 5. I mean, it's a pass, I guess, but it's... Yeah, I would prefer drinking this over like a Coors or a Bud, anyway. Anyway, um, thank you, Jeff. And uh, I will enjoy drinking the rest of this thing. Chat with you folks later. Cheers.